All right, what's going on, guys? It is quick fire MCAT quick discrete question time. So over here, what we're gonna do is you're gonna do these questions. Okay, there's 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, you guys are gonna do these questions as fast as you could. All right, these questions should not take that long. And we're gonna test to see, you know, how many you get right, how many you get wrong. Hopefully you guys get all of them right. Okay, you could pause it whenever you need to. Do it on your own first and then resume this video. <clears throat> All right, let's begin. In modern radiotherapy, superconducting wire coils are used to create magnetic fields that focus particle beams in order to deliver the maximum dose of ionizing radiation to a tumor site while minimizing the destruction of healthy tissue. For which of the following types of radiation would this technique not be useful? Okay. We need some type of radiation that's strong to kill tumors, but not to kill healthy tissue. All right, and this is from a magnetic field. The magnetic field focuses these particle beams. Okay, magnetic fields exert their magnetic force on moving charges. All right. Alpha particle, proton beams, gamma photons, beta particles. Well, A and D are wrong because, all right, they're wrong because this is, they're both charged. Okay, an alpha particle is charged, it's positively charged. Beta particle is also charged. All right, proton beams, they're just like alpha particles, they're both charged, they're both positively charged. So I'm gonna go with C, gamma photons. I think process elimination, we're gonna go with C. Okay, interesting question. Let's see how many of you guys got that one right. Let's keep going. What is the absolute configuration of C1 and C2 respectively as indicated in the molecule below? Ooh, nice. This is a hard one. Okay, we got some <laughs> a chair cyclic you know compound here it's just a kind of chair it looks like a little bit you have some type of thing going on top here Ooh, okay i love this all right so this is how i'm gonna do it right now okay let's look at c1 all right c1 has oh here all right you have to know which one is on the back and which one's in the front all right so if i'm looking at this from this arrow this oh is going to be coming out of the page. This is going to have a, da a wedge. This is gonna have a wedge. Okay, I'm gonna draw it on the whiteboard so it's a little easier, okay? So we're gonna have this being a wedge, I'm sorry. So this is gonna be a wedge here, the OH. Okay, this is a wedge, the OH, all right? And then on the back side, <clears throat> this is on the back here. Okay, so this is gonna be the dash here. So whatever is over here, this is the <clears throat> carbon carbon like that. So then there's that up there. And because this is the dash and this is the wedge, the other two have to be on a planer. So this is gonna be here and this is gonna go here, okay? And now we can go for like one, two, three, four. We can assign priority, all right? So obviously this one's gonna be first priority because it has an O. Second priority is going to be <clears throat> this carbon, carbon, carbon. Okay, we have to look at the next carbon, the next atom. So the second carbon, so one, two. This one is bonded to four carbons. All right, one, two. This one's bonded to three carbons and a bromine. One, two. This one's bonded to three carbons and a hydrogen. So this side, I'm going to assign the second priority because a bromine is way bigger than a carbon. Okay, so this guy has second priority. And then since this one is carbon, 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 and this one is carbon, 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 hydrogen, this one has higher priority than this one. Okay, so this one is number three, and this one is number four. Okay, so we have like this. We have a counterclockwise, so that's an S. However, however, guys, since the lowest priority group is not, you know, having a dash, since the lowest priority group is not in the back, 
we have to flip this from S to R. So actually, C1 is an R. Okay, now let's do the other one. What we got here? Oof, now we have to look at it from this side here. All right. The BR is going to be in the front. I hope you guys can see that. All right, it's most towards your eyeball. Let's say your eye is here. The BR is in the front. Okay. So it looks like this. So the BR is going to have a wedge. Here's the BR. This is on the back. This is completely on the opposite side of the BR. BR is coming towards you. This is going literally the opposite side to the back. Okay, so this is going to be the dash here. And then these have to be up and then down. I mean, although this is pointing a little to the front, you know, it is a cyclic molecule. So you're gonna have to assume that these are the same on the same plane here, okay? All right, now let's assign priority. So this is gonna be one, of course, bromine. It's pretty big. Next, we have the carbons. Okay, the next atom is a carbon for all of them. So they all tied here. Let's look at the second atom. So one, two, this is a carbon, 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 carbon. The second atom here is carbon, 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 hydrogen. The second atom here is, the second atom was right here is carbon, 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 oxygen. So this is number two, because it has the oxygen. So let's put that. This is number two. And since this second carbon is carbon, 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 and this one is carbon, 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 hydrogen, this one is number three, and this one's number four. Okay, so this is number three, and this one is number four. And if we follow it, it's one, two, three. We're looking at an R. But since the the lowest priority group is not a dash, since it's not in the back, all right, we're going to have to convert from R to S. So the final configuration is S here. Therefore, C1 is R and C2 is S. Okay, C1 is R, C2 is S. Nice, nice, nice. Let's keep going. Which of the following ranks the redox active species of the electron transport chain in order of decreasing electron affinity? Okay, the one that has the most electron affinity is going to be oxygen. Okay, oxygen has the most because it's the last one. It's the final electron acceptor. Okay, it needs the most. It wants the electron as much as possible. It's the last one. It's got to pull this whole thing. Okay, so oxygen is going to be the most. So B is wrong. And then, oh, okay. And then going from the oxygen back towards the front. So like here is the electron transport chain. Okay. Here's the electron transport chain. Oxygen is the final electron acceptor, okay? Let's say this is the membrane here, the inner mitochondrial membrane. We're gonna go NADH comes here, comes out NAD plus, all right? And then FADH2, FAD becomes FADH2. This is at the, this complex, complex two, okay? So the last one is NADH, because we're going this way. The last one is the NAD. So C is wrong. C is wrong. So it's either A or D. Okay, you guys should know the order. The order is oxygen, and then the CoQ, and then the FAD, and then the NAD. So oxygen, CoQ, FAD, and then the NAD. CoQ is the same thing as complex two. Okay, that's how you can remember it. CoQ, complex two. All right, not the same thing. The CoQ is the electron transfer from complex two. So complex two passes its electrons to CoQ. Okay, that's how you kind of remember it. All right, so 12 is D. Sorry about that. I meant to say, yeah, I meant to say complex two passes electrons to CoQ. Okay, that's how you remember it. I mixed up my words there a little bit. Apologies for that. Which of the following peptides would move towards the negative terminal in a gel electrophoresis experiment run at pH 5? Okay. Think of the pH gradient. All right. So you have 0, you have 7, you have 14. Okay. What is the negative side and what is the positive side? Well, since this is a lower pH here, you're going to have more hydrogen ions. Hydrogens are positive. Okay. 
this is the positive side. Over here, you're gonna have the opposite. You're gonna have OH minuses, let's say, okay? So this is the negative side. We put a protein in at pH five, where is it gonna travel? To the positive or negative? Okay. Oh, they told us that, oh my God, I'm like a mess today, sorry guys. They told us that it would run to the negative terminal. So this protein is gonna go run to the negative terminal, okay? The only way that this protein can run to the negative terminal is if it's positively charged, okay? It runs to the negative terminal to reach its isoelectric point so it can stop moving, okay? That's what's gonna happen. So, so we need something that's positively charged, all right? Tyrosine, tryptophan, aspartate. No, we have a aspartate there that's pretty negative. It's like a negative one net charge here. Aspartate, uh, lysine, glycine, cysteine. We're going to have a neutral zero charge. It's going to give us a negative one and positive one. So B is neutral. ASN, arginine, histidine. Okay, this is the most positive so far. This glutamine, glutamate, glutamine, lysine, isol. Okay, this is neutral. This is a zero. So this is the most positive out of all of them. So thirteen to C, and that is it, guys. That is it for this round. Sorry for messing up a little bit there. I got caught up with my words. But if you have any questions, guys, go ahead, comment it down below. I'll be more than happy to answer them, all right? If you guys are interested in working one-to-one -one with me inside MCAT University, okay, it is a fully loaded MCAT program, okay? I show you exactly what to do step-by-step. -step. All you have to do is just follow. It's so easy, okay? <laughs> Literally, it's all you have to do. And you have me there as well to be with you, holding your hand. Any question that you have, you can just answer, you can just ask me and I'll tell you the answer, okay? I can make you understand a whole entire freaking Kaplan biology book within like two sessions, one session, okay? So if you're interested in that, go ahead, click on the link in the comment section, fill out the, uh, the questions, book an interview, we'll go on the interview. If it seems like we're a good fit, I'll ask you to join MCAT University and you'll hit your target score. All right, so I'll see you guys in the next video.